is Michael Fernandez. Before we go on to our program today, I would like to introduce to you my two books, awesome books, Power of the Cross, How God Delivered Me and Healed Me, Praise Be to God, and also The Gifts of the Holy Ghost and Deliverance and How to Operate in the Gifts. Please order on Amazon or go to my website at WWMF Ministry. Praise be to God. Let's go into our show today, our wonderful guests. Praise be to God. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Before we pray for the peace of Israel and for our president, I'd like to announce uh, for y'all to please pray for my good friend I met uh, today. His name is Jeffrey McCall. Go on Facebook and follow him, and also Freedom March. Freedom March. Go on Facebook, and and he's an ex transgender, set free from the power of sin, and uh, just like I have been, and and he has a march in the cities, protesting with a lot of ex gay, homosexual, transgender, and 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 they're saying we have a right to testify of the goodness of God. Please follow him. His name, once again, is Jeffrey McCall. Tell him evangelist Michael Fernandez is shouting his name. Uh, he is an awesome man of God, and, and he's sharing his testimony. And praise be to God. And also, Freedom March is his ministry. Go and follow him on Facebook, and we pray that God help him and continue blessing him. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. And also, right now, Let's pray for the priests of Israel. Pray for them. The pray, the pray for Israel and Jerusalem. Father, we pray that you protect Israel and Jerusalem in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, God, in the name of Jesus. You know the turmoil they're going through, Father. You know the things they're going through, Father. But right now I pray that your angels protect them. Bless them, Father. Bless them in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for our president, God. Father, I pray, God, that you give him strength and wisdom in the name of Jesus. I don't know if you heard on Facebook, uh, uh, Iran, who cursed Israel in the U.S. Uh, well, my Bible tells me if you curse Israel and if anyone curses you as a Christian, uh, God will curse them. Well, Iran, uh, well, that country, is having floods like never before. Don't mess with Jesus' people, Israel. Don't mess with the U.S. who believes in God. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, today we're going to be going in uh, talking about false teachers. Brothers, today I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm making the body of Christ aware. Devil, you can't fool us. We ain't stupid. We catch you. We see your little sneaky way of trying to come in the church. See, the devil is not going to come out here with a, uh, an, uh, an outfit with horns. He comes as a little snake conniving. What do you mean, Evangelist Michael Fernandez? Well, let's read the scripture first, and then I'm going to tell you, give you an example how the devil is coming in and is trying to come in the church. But God is raising up people. They know how to listen to the Holy Ghost and knows how to read their Bible and they're not going to be tricked by no slick devil in the name of Jesus. Let's read our Bible. Okay, we're talking about false teaching and false doctrine and philosophies of man. Okay, here we go. Uh, Colossians chapter 2, verse 7. We're going to continue this next week. Please, because this is a lot of information. He said, be rooted, built up in him. Did you hear the word? In him. Who's him? Jesus. And establish in the faith as you have been taught. Abound in, with thanksgiving. Listen to what it says, verse 8. Beware, lest anyone cheats you through philosophy which are concepts, opinions of man, or theories, or are or, 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 or like new age teaching. 
Do you understand where I'm coming from? New Age teaching? Uh, what is that New Age teaching? Well, the New Age uh, uh, belief is... Uh, now, let, let me give you an example. If you hear a pastor or minister who writes books, reach down into yourself and you will find the answer to your problem. There is no mountain you cannot climb, no valley that you cannot go through. That sounds beautiful, but not once do they mention the name Jesus. The vain philosophy of this, na this new age movement, like what's her name, uh, Oprah Winfrey, they teach this lies of devils to look into their humanistic strength. And we're going to talk about that. This is alarming. It is blaspheming because my Bible tells me that we cannot do nothing within our own strength. For even God the Son in St. John 6 says, I cannot do anything without my father. Do you understand? So when a man or a preacher of big churches or anyone says, oh, we, we you, you reach down deep inside your spirit, man. That's humanness, depending on your own strength. That's self-righteousness. That's against God's word. Beware of self-righteous. You and me, our righteousness is as dirty as dirty rags. Let me tell you, it is dirty rags. And I'm telling you right now, brother, when, it's, when we have those issues, dirty rags, when we try to uh, uh, depend on our own strength, we're depending on our own, our own ability. It's a, it's a teachings of devils, of demons. And I know that the church is, 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 is not going to be deceived by the devil and his philosophies of these well-known preachers that are going out. I don't care if they have millions of people, but they're gone to hell if you believe that you have strength within your own power. And we're going to be talking about that. And we're going to be talking about these preachers saying, oh, we don't have to repent because uh, God already forgive our future, present, past sin. And then we're going to talk about the, uh, that, that the, they say the Holy Ghost does not convict the Christians, only the sinners. That's another false teaching. Now, this is why I know that there are men of God and women of God that are listening to me. They cannot be easily deceived by false teaching. Beware of false teachers that teach this garbage and alert the babies in Christ. The babes in Christ, they don't know any better. They don't know their Bible. But the Bible says, study to show thyself approved. So you could know and catch the snares and false teachings and doctors and demons. Amen? Let's go further. Let's read. It says, it says here, Lest anyone cheat you through their philosophy and empty deceit according to the tradition of man. Did you hear that? According to the tradition of man. According to the base principles of the world. But not according to Christ. To Christ. Did you hear that? Let's li listen to it again. Be rooted and built up in him. Who? Jesus. In other words, you and me and any other minister, we can't do nothing within our own strength. Do you understand? Our righteousness is filthy as dirty rags. I am justified, do you hear what I mean? As one who never committed sin. Through the cross, through the blood of Jesus, and only through him. Now how good I do, how good I perform, or how good I could quote certain quotes that I could reach down into my inner being and be able to accomplish any success in ministry or, or business or in school. That is a selfish, righteous attitude. 
And that's an abomination. God says, cursed any man who preach another gospel. And that is another gospel. And we as the body of Christ, we're not going to be uh, deceived by these doctrines of devils. Let's go further. It says, rooted and built in with him, established in faith as you've been taught, bound in it with thanksgiving. Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophies, empty deceits according to the tradition of man, according to the base principle of the world, and not according to Christ. Listen to this. For in him, who's him? Jesus. That's not Michael Fernandez. Oh, Michael Fernandez. Looking deep down within your own power, you could accomplish anything. Mind over matter, positive thinking, bullcorn. That's a lie from the pit of hell. We can't do nothing. We can do all things through who? Christ Jesus. The strength in us. And see, these people, they get side away, they get sidetracked from the scripture, and they begin to teach their own philosophies and teachings and doctrines of devils and deceiving people that depend on their positive thinking or willpower. Bullcard, it's a lie from the pit of hell. We can do all things through whom? Through him. Who is him? Jesus. Hallelujah, because we got well-strong, educated men and women of God. They're not going to stand for it. Praise be to the Lord. Now listen to this. It says here, it says, not according to the principles of the world, but according to Christ. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead. Did you hear that? In him, not in Michael Fernandez. Not in these other famous preachers, but in him. Who is him? Jesus Christ is Lord. Let's go further. In verse 9, this is 2 Colossians chapter 2, verse 9. For in him dwelleth all fullness of the Godhead bodily. And listen to verse 10. Here we go. And you, Michael Fernandez, is complete in him. Who is him? Jesus, he's the head of the church. He's the rose of Sharon. He's Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. That's who I stand in. And there's where my deliverance in is what he did on the cross. It's not what you could do. Hallelujah. It's all what Jesus did. He put your sin as far as the east is from the west. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It says, for you are complete in him who is the head of all principalities and power. In him, not in you. Beware of these vain philosophies of these men who say they're of God, but no power. They preach faith, but they don't have no miracles and casting out devils. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. God is good. God is good in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. God is wonderful. Now let me tell you what it says here. It says here, let's go to Galatians 1, 6. Galatians 1, 6. Okay, let's find it. Okay. Let's go. Here it goes. I marvel that you are so removed from him. Who's him that you call you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel? To another gospel. So that gospel is what? That gospel is believing that it is through Jesus Christ. There's only one way to heaven, and his name is Jesus Christ. He's the one that died on the cross, and he's the one who could establish you. He's the one who could wash you. Praise be to God in the name of Jesus. I give God the praise. I give God the glory. He says, he says, here it goes. Remove from him that called you to the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. But there are some that troubled you who perverted the gospel of Christ. 
But though we are if an angel from heaven preach another gospel unto you, that which we have not preached unto you, let him be accursed. Did you hear that? He said, let him be a curse. Let him be a curse. So that curse is a person who's preaching another gospel, saying that is within you, that your strength and your ability to be able to accomplish things in life that contradicts the word of God. The word of God says we can't do nothing of ourselves. The word of God says we could do all things through Christ. So therefore we could do all things through who? Jesus Christ, not Michael Fernandez or any other minister. Hallelujah. But thank God their people are not going to be deceived. Hallelujah. And, and, the, and the thing about it, I need to let everybody know who's listening that nothing is impossible for him that believe. He says, curse, as we said before, I know again, if any man preach another gospel unto you, that you have received, let him be a curse, and I'm persuaded of man or of God. I seek to please, I seek not to please men, but to please God. Amen. Now let's read here in another scripture. We're going to be talking about the times of I said the spirit in a in a, in the spirit in First Timothy chapter four, verse one. The Spirit clearly says in the latter time some people will turn away from the faith. He says, and that's in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. He says that we have to be careful because in these last days, many will turn away from the faith. They were forbid from marriage. They were forbid from eating certain meats. They're doctrines of demons. Did you know even today, even today they would tell you, remember the scripture, first, uh, Mark 16? Which says, and these signs will follow them that believe. And in my name they shall cast out devils. They shall heal the sick. Okay. And if they drink any deadly thing, it should not hurt them. And if they take up a serpent, it would not kill them. Okay. So the thing about it is, if we have, we have one thing we need to understand. That there are churches today that they actually have snakes in the churches. And they said if these people, if these people pick up the snake, it's not going to hurt them. <laughs> that is foolish. Foolish. And but there are actually people who are being deceived. They 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 this what that means in the scripture that if you'd pick up a snake it would not hurt you is an example when Paul was out there in the boondocks after being shipwrecked and he was cleaning up the, the fireplace to fix fire and all of a sudden a snake bit him. Okay, and what happened to him? Nothing happened to him. That's what that applies to. If you're out there in the boondocks right now and you have no access to get to a doctor, if you drank something poisonous or, or a snake uh, bit you or some disease attacked you, whatever it is, God will protect you. But if you're around hospitals, God expects you to get on the car or call 911 and get on the paramedics and go to the hospital and believe in prayer. And at the same time, God will help you through doctors or whichever. But don't test the Lord thy God. That's why people are teaching vain philosophies, doctrines of devils. They're going into one extreme and into another extreme. And we're going to continue this topic next week because it's so important that people know the truth and the truth will set you free. Praise be to God. Okay, let's go further. It says here, right here, on 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Okay, remember we're going to be talking about the philosophy of man, the New Age teaching. And we're going to be talking about how people are preaching about that you don't have to repent as a Christian because your sins are already forgiven, future, present, past. 
That's a lie from the pit of hell. Because the body of Christ ain't that stupid to believe those lies. Because there are people who know their Bible and say, no way, Jose, that's a lie from the pit of hell. And then there are scriptures, they're trying to say that uh, John 1, 9, it does not apply to Christian. He does apply to Christian. He says, dear beloved, he didn't say to the sinner. He was talking to the believer. If we all fall short of the glory of God, we all have to repent. Believe me, guess what? I'm not God. I'm I'm not perfect. I, I have an advocate, which is Jesus. If you've committed sin, confess your sin, and he's faithfully just to forgive you of your unrighteousness. And there are people teaching false doctrines, saying we don't, that does not apply to Christian. Once again, it's a lie. We'll go in details about that. And also, uh, well, let's just throw a little scripture to you, a little boomerang, boom, uh, hit you between the eye. I says, what if, if you don't believe Christians shall repent, then Jesus is lying. So what do you mean, Brother Michael? Well, let me tell you what Jesus said in Revelation 3, 19. He says, if my children, who I will rebuke, and I cause them to repent, if Jesus said to his children, he's not talking to sinners, people who are not born again. He said, my children, whom I will rebuke, and cause them to repent, and if who are you to say we are not allowed to repent when Jesus himself is saying that we need to repent? Hallelujah. And God says he rebukes those who he loves. And we're going to continue those topics further on next week because a lot of people don't know these scriptures. They don't know how to defend the truth. It says, okay, have you found 1 John 1, 4, 1? Beloved, do not believe every spirit. Test every spirit, whether they're of God, because false prophets has gone into the world. There, we need to test every spirit. Test every spirit. Remember we're talking about that we don't do nothing of ourselves? Okay? We don't do nothing within our own strength. Okay? People who say, well, I'm going to reach down within my own strength. I'm going to accomplish this. No. Through Christ, I could do all things through him that strengthened me. I want us to read in, uh, uh, I want us to go to, uh, Jesus said I could do nothing of myself. St. John 5.30, St. John 5.30 says, I can of my own self do nothing. Oh my God, this is Jesus. He says, I of my own self can do nothing. As I hear and I judge of my judgment is just because I'm not of my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Did you hear that? Jesus himself said, I can't do none of this without the one who sent me. And you and me, we're supposed to say, brother, God will. People say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. If God willing that God permits me to live tomorrow because tomorrow is not promised for us to live. One day at a time, brothers and sisters. We have to be careful with arrogance and pride and say, yes, we need to be positive and trust God for our future and, our, and trust that he's forgiven us. Yes, but we cannot be arrogant to the point that you say, I'm going to do this if people like it or not. No, if si Dios quiere, if si God permits that I will be able to accomplish what God wants me to do in Jesus' name. And never say, I could do all things through my strength. No, I can do all things through the strength of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Okay, that's in Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Praise be the Lord. And as we know, that a lot of people... Yes, they're doubtless. I count things. Let's listen to uh, Philippians 3, 8. We got a few more minutes. Before we do, let's read that scripture. Uh, it says his uh, Philippians 3, 8. I count all things but loss for excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I suffer loss for all things, and do not count them but dung, doo-doo, basically. I've made that I may win Christ, I found in him 
not having my own righteousness. Did you hear that? My own righteousness, which is of the law. But when it is through faith in Christ, is the righteousness which is of God by faith. Everything we have is through Christ Jesus and through his strength. And we're going to close there and we're going to continue this next week. Praise be to God. And I hope this is going to encourage you to understand the scripture. We're going to go more in scripture next week. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord, right now say, Jesus, come in my heart. Be the Lord of my life. I believe you're the Son of God. And I confess Jesus is Lord. And say, Jesus, thank you for forgiving me. If you're sick, lay hands on your body. Receive you the healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise be to God. I give God the praise and I give God the glory in the name of Jesus. And remember, tune in next week. We're going to continue talking about these false teachers, uh, talking about the things they're saying that God doesn't want us to repent. Uh, the Holy Ghost does not grieve uh, the body of Christ or convict the body of Christ of their sin. And we're going to look into those scriptures. I'm going to show you scriptures to defend the truth. God bless you. See you next week. In Jesus' name. Praise be to God. I hope you enjoyed the program today. Ooh. But don't forget about the awesome book on the power of the cross and how God healed me and delivered me. And also the gifts of the Holy Ghost, how to operate and function and flow in the gifts. Praise be to God. And be a part of our ministry and be looking for us next week. And tune in. Praise be to God.